Hi everyone, welcome to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Class. This is Yoshimi. Today I'm going to show you how to make eggplant tempura. There are so many ways to cook eggplant, but tempura is my most favorite way. It's super easy. Let me show you how to make it. These are what you need. Some eggplant, a third cup all-purpose flour, one teaspoon potato starch or cornstarch. Very simple. At first, I'm going to cut the eggplant. And you want to keep the stem on, but you want to remove these. So, make shallow slit all around the stem to remove here. But you still have the stem on. I'm going to cut this into four, long way. Like this. And I'm going to make some slits here. It's about two thirds of the eggplant. One, two, two. Like this, and you can spread it out like a fan. Let's stuff the eggplant with some flour. And make sure to dust between the slits. You can skip this dusting process, but this will help butter to stay well on the eggplants. So it's all dusted in and out. Okay. Now I'm making tempura butter. A third cup flour, one teaspoon potato starch, a third cup water. Flour and water is one to one. Mix it, but make sure you don't over mix it. Over mixing will bring out the gluten from the flour and it will make the butter really sticky. So just give it a quick mix. This is good enough. It's still lumpy, but this is just good enough. I'm heating up some canola oil of a medium to medium high heat. Let's check the temperature. Drop a little bit of butter into the oil. And if the butter hits the bottom and comes up immediately, just like it did, this is a perfect temperature. Take the stem of eggplant, spread it out like a fan, dip in the tempura butter, and into the oil as you press it down at the bottom of the frying pan. So you can keep the shape of pan. Take the stem, spread it out, dip in the butter, press it down against the bottom of the frying pan. Fry them for one minute on each side. It's been fried for one minute, so let's flip them over. Looks good. So let's take them out and drain. If you want to make thicker spiky crust on the eggplant, take the stem, spread it out, dip in the butter, push against the bottom of the frying pan to keep the pan shape, and then splash some of the butter all over the crunch. Okay, let's pick them over. And put the other side for one minute. Looks good, nice and crispy on both sides. Now let's take them out. Let's put tempera paper or kitchen paper on the plate. Put some tempera as much as you like. 
And eggplant tempura is ready to go. It's time for the tasting. You can of course have it with tempura dipping sauce, but I like to have tempura simply with salt. So I have a little bit of salt here, so let's sprinkle it on the eggplant, a little more, and itadakimasu. Did you hear the sound? It's very crispy outside and the eggplant inside is almost creamy. Delicious! Mmm! Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. More videos coming up on every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything. Bye!